Fred Film Radio. We're live from the 75th uh, Venice International Film Festival. Today 75th. we're. Yes. It is. The oldest film festival <laughs> in the world. It is. Italy, yeah. before Cannes. So. Yes. <laughs> and it's climbed to the top of the heap, hasn't it? Venice is the big festival now around the world. Festival, yes. Yeah. Especially thanks to Damien Chazelle <laughs> on the previous year with La La Land and now yeah. with First Man. Because that's, uh, we're talking about the opening film, First Man by Damien Chazelle. So Jason and Olivia, Jason Clark, Olivia Hamilton. So you, you play husband and wife. And yes. first of all, uh, how was it for you to get involved in this uh, big film? And it's, um, I, I, heard, I heard in the press conference, Jason, that for you was a a bit claustrophobic to work mm. in this field because yeah. Damien is really paying attention to details that we see. Yeah, the reality of it, yeah. I mean, there were real, you. you know, there were real size capsules. It's very close to it. Once you're suited up and you're breathing, you know, through a little tube that's coming in, once you close the glass, you can stay here with me, baby. Okay, I'll stay right here. Um, yeah, it just becomes very claustrophobic. But it was, I mean, how was it for you to get cast in this film? Um, how was the experience? Yeah. I mean, it was incredible. For me, this was a dream project because the story was so larger than life. The, everybody involved, the cast, the cinematographer, the production designer, just top of, you know, top of their field. And then the character. All the characters were written with arcs, with nuance, so the roles were really won wonderful to play. Yeah, to say that there are a lot of silences, music, hands, highs, but uh, there's a, every character is so detailed. So I was wondering how much of it was in the script, how much of it you developed with Damien? It was all in the script, and then it was all, you know, Damien's, uh, you know, vision for what he wanted to do, and 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 you look, you always knew that this film, it, it's a massive story. It's never been told. It's a it's a big story to tell, to tell it right, and you know, and you had Damien Chazelle and Ryan Gosling straight off of La La Land, and you know, and Whiplash before that, and you thought, you know what, just like the astronauts and the people that put this together, this is the best young team to to make this movie. And Universal supported them and backed them up. And Josh wrote a great script. And the minute you read it, you thought, this is about the best of us as humans. It's, it's sacrifice. It's what, you, what it costs to achieve great things. But it's about the best that we can be and the best that we are. And that's what moved me the most. Yeah. You know? And I think to the, the question of it, what's in the script versus what was developed, um, I think one of the things that comes through in the film is all these little beautiful moments that feel really organic. And Damien, as a director loves improv, loves things going yeah. against exactly what was planned and gave two weeks to, to Neil and Janet and their children to improvise and a lot of that stuff's in the movie. We did a lot of things that were, were not written and he really, you know, celebrates that and I think it gives the movie a special realism. An intimacy. Yeah, an intimacy. And a reality. Exactly. Yeah, and a freedom. Yeah. You know, he, he knows what he's yeah. doing, he knows what he wants, he knows the film he's going to make, but he still lets you believe that magic can happen any you know, given moment on set. And that's, as an actor, that's just fantastic. And plus it was a challenge for him, you know. Uh, it's, it's a monumental film, film, you know. I mean, yeah. it's a <laughs> no, but it is. It's a huge film. It's an epic film. It's an intimate film. It's a, you know, it's a story that you don't pick up lightly in terms of the weight of history and what it means to NASA and the people that are still involved in this. And, um, you know, bravo to him, really, and to Ryan as well. From this huh? What did you take away from this experience? Oh, apart from great friends. I mean, as an actor, you take away, yeah. we take away our memories. I mean, we yeah. first had lunch together when we were both cast. We sat down. We just, you know, caught up and... And then we met on the plane last night. Yeah. Just I tried the Maldives to. surfing. <laughs> You've been two weeks surfing in the Maldives. I have. Um, you, take away, you take away the love of the experience and what you've done in the film, you know, hopefully, uh, like this one, is one of those ones that I think stands the test of time and will be here in 50 years' time and it's still a great movie. Would you say that it's a story about, uh, you know, a man landing on the moon, so a big achievement, or also a story about a man facing, you know... It's a film so about what's, what is possible, what we can do if we really want to, if we have the determination, the hard work and the sacrifice, what we are capable of, and yes. for you. And I think also what it takes, not just this is what we can do, but these are the costs, and this might be the hero at the helm of it, but these were all the other people, this, the, his wife, his Janet, his kids, the family, the people who paid for this, essentially, with their lives and their time and their energy and the, what the country put into it. There's a bit of political stuff in the film as well. Um, so it's both. Yeah, if you want a six-foot peak, you'd be very prepared to wipe out. <laughs> yeah, it's a good surfing yeah. analogy. Bruce is going to come. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Justin Clark, Olivia Hamilton, Thank first you. met by Damien Chazelle. Thank Congratulations. You. And this is Chiara Nicoletti <laughs> from the 75th Venice International Film Festival for Fred. <laughs>